Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Cavi Central and I wanted to chat with you about uh, a problem with running lice that you may not necessarily be aware of. Now, this little piggy has come in to rescue. She's absolutely gorgeous. But if you look really carefully, you'll notice her coat. She's an Abyssinian. She looks like she's fully furred. Everything looks fine. And this is one of the problems we have with guinea pigs. People see them as being furred, sitting on grass, nibbling, and that everything is fine with the animal. What I want you to do is come with me and take a look up close. Okay, so we're gonna turn her round here and I'm gonna get the camera zoomed right in. There we go, we'll just get her to sit really still. You'll notice there's a little bit of ruffling with her coat, a little bit of patchiness, but in order to see what we need to see, it's really right in here, very close. And uh, Ben, who we've got on camera, can tell me when you can see it. It needs to be right up close to the roots. And I need to put my glasses on, I think, as well, to see in here. But this little girl, here we go, look in there, right up close. There they were. I just saw them. Can you see? No. Please go right in close. Have a look here at the base of the hair follicle. Now you need to move back so the light's not there. And I'll actually zoom in, but you can see them moving about. So little things moving around on the coat. This is running lice, guys. The light, you might have to come from a bit it's okay. blocking the light behind you. That's it. Let's open up another patch. She's absolutely... There we go. You see them? Moving in and around the hair. So running lice is species specific. There, oh, we, go. there we go. Can you see them in there? Yeah. They're species specific, which means that it won't affect you but it really does annoy the guinea pig. They're on the skin, they're a parasite, and we need to treat that really quickly. Um, it's highly contagious in the sense that if you discover this on your pet, all of your guinea pigs will have some degree of infection and infestation. To treat this, we need to use an antiparasitic medicine, whether we use Revolution or Ivermectin. And we also, I recommend a wash so something like Fido's Itch Free Rinse is, is fantastic and will enable you to treat these little guys. It doesn't treat the egg cycle, but certainly there's thousands of them on her coat here. So we'll go back up a bit higher so you can get another little look. And you start to see why it's so annoying to these little piggies. So, did we get a, a close up there? Yeah, you got it. Pretty good, okay, so as you can see, to the eye, she looks like a guinea pig who is really healthy and beautiful, but in actual fact, she has an infestation on board. Okay, another thing I wanted to share with you is checking if a guinea pig is of the right weight or has changed weight recently. And in this instance, she has in fact lost a little bit of weight. And we can do that. It's very easy if you've seen my other videos. What's that? What is that? That's a blueberry. <laughs> Let's come out with her. Okay, little blueberry. How about you nibble on the blueberry? Um, but here, on either side, as we pull away from the body, we can see folds of skin. It's very difficult to see on an Abyssinian, but I'm actually feeling it. So between my fingers are folds of skin. And that tells me that this little girl has lost weight recently. A reason for that could, it could actually be this infestation that's on board. She's really unhappy with that, and certainly these parasites really bother them. So hopefully I've shown you how looking with the eye visually is not necessarily a healthy animal but you need to examine really closely any problems that occur. Okay that's it for me everyone take care like and subscribe see you later bye for now.